Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you from uh, whichever part you're you're joining me today. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Parveen Khan, and I'm a senior test engineer at Square Marble Technology, which is uh, based in London, UK. So today, um, I'm going to give you all a quick introduction to observability for testers. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk you through what exactly uh, observability is and why is it important for testers. So let's get started. Imagine uh, you join a new team and you're working on a new product and the domain is totally new to you. So as a tester, what is the first thing we try to do? We try to explore the product to understand so that once we understand the product, we can start building a test strategy and we start building a test, right? So what if the more you're trying to understand and the more you're trying to explore, it feels that the product is a bit complex. And whenever there is a production issue, um, the, the developers on your team are marking those tickets as blocked because they could not find any information or they could not debug the issue or uh, debug it to fix the issue so what do you think is liking i mean of course there might be a lot of different reasons but the most important thing could be um, there is a lack of visibility so there was no visit there, there's no when there is no visibility into the system um, then the developers or anyone who is trying to debug they cannot find any information so how can we get visibility into the system? Um, so the answer is by having observability. So what is observability? It means um, you can find a lot of different definitions if you try to Google about it, but this is a one simple definition which I want to uh, try and explain, which is observability is a measure of how well internal states of a system can be inferred from its external output. It means uh, you can answer any questions about what's happening on the inside of the system just by observing the outside of the system and without having to ship new code to, code to answer those uh, new questions. So whenever the systems are down, we need to find answers by asking questions as quickly as possible. So the system needs to be observable. So so that it can explain what's happening so that we can find out what's happening on the inside of the system by just observing from the outside but how can we make the system observable so the answer is by using the data now how can we get the data and what type of data do we need uh, to have an observable system we need uh, we can get the data to make the system observable by adding instrumentation. And that instrumentation can give us the data uh, that can be in the form of uh, logs, or it could be in the form of metrics, or it could be in the form of traces. So it is all um, about collecting the data whenever there are requests running, whenever there are services running behind and visualizing those in the form of either logs or metrics or traces, and then use that data uh, to find out the root cause of any given issue. So now you might be thinking, uh, why should testers care about observability or how could it help testers? So we, Testers, so we testers are great at uh, being creative. We are great at asking questions and we are good at exploration by performing exploratory testing, right? So by having an observable system, it helps testers to find more information and it kind of empowers our ability to understand the production, which, which can also help us uncover the behaviors of the real users right like we don't have to guess we don't have to guesstimate like how uh, how our users might be using a system or what are the user journeys they are taking or like you know how they are uh, which 
are the critical parts of our system the users are using very regularly. So we don't have to guess all these things. And by gathering all these data and information, uh, it's it just doesn't mean that we are not we are just collecting the information, but by collecting this information, it allows us to design our test better, right? And by giving by having access to these kind of uh, uh, observability tools for testers, like especially when we are trying to test uh, something or maybe we are trying to reproduce any kind of production bug, we don't have to uh, guess what's happening under the hood. We don't have to um, go blind and assume things. So by accessing these logs or uh, by logs or metrics or any of the traces, we can uh, find more information. It's not about just trying to get exactly where the problem is, but uh, we, by using these traces, we can figure out where, the, where exactly the problem is. And this information can be used while like, you know, you might be testing or you might be reproducing any of the bug and you can add more information to the um, bugs you're trying to raise or the issues you're trying to raise and that way uh, it might help the developers so this way you're trying to add a faster feedback loop by giving extra information while you're raising the issues so to end with i would like to say uh, observability gives more power to the entire team to get the visibility of the system when needed so it, um, it empowers everyone on the team, whether it's, um, it's, it's for developers or it's for ops engineers or it's for SREs or uh, testers. It's, it's not for just uh, one certain, it's not just useful for one particular role or it's not just useful for just debugging the issues, but it could be used by entire team and uh, it would uh, empower the entire team. So, Thank you so much. Thank you, Testflix, for uh, giving me this opportunity to join this um, this, this amazing uh, unique conference and uh, letting me uh, share my experience to the uh, testers and everyone else who has joined uh, this conference and my session. And be sure to follow me on Parveen underscore Khan 10 on Twitter. And you can learn, uh, you can find more information about um, my stories and any anything related to observability on ParveenKhans.com. Thank you.